Yo, what's up, y'all? So this is Jay Alexander, The Last King 162. Back at y'all with another video. So this has been a long time since I made a car vlog. So um, I just want to talk about something, you know, um, that needs to be talked about more, um, especially amongst black men. And that is our health. You know, I'm 36 years old. I'll be 37 um, in a couple months. So I'm closer to 40 than 30. And that's a reality that I just have to face or I just have to accept, you know. Um, but there's one thing that or one lesson I want to teach or give you that I learned, especially in the last six years. You know, um, you know, I was a fool in my 20s and in my early 30s. Um, I did not take care of my health um, the way I should. Oh, I dropped my keys. Um, I was having symptoms and stuff, and I was pretty much ignoring my symptoms. And one lesson I just want to give to you guys, especially if you're younger, to help help you avoid a lot of problems is don't play around when it comes to your health. Um, listen to your body. Um, if you're feeling tired um, or exhausted, you know, stop what you're doing and get your rest. You know, um, if you're feeling sick, if you're if you have a headache or have allergies or whatnot, you know, stop what you're doing and figure out what's what's going on with yourself. You know, don't procrastinate. If you're in a relationship that's causing you a lot of health issues that you're really stressed out in that relationship, it might be time to leave that relationship. You know, um, last year. I went to the doctor and they said that you know, my cholesterol was a little high. It wasn't too high, but it was kind of high. And I, and I asked my doctor, I said, what can I do to, you know, help lower my cholesterol? She went down the list of things I should do. And as soon as I left the, the doctor's office, I started right away to do the things that she said I should do. I started um, exercising. I went to the grocery store, bought the stuff she said I should, should get. I stopped eating the things that she said. And that was last year. And ever since then, I've actually lost over 40 pounds, like since last March. It's actually been a year now. And I lost 40, actually probably like 45 pounds now. And I still got about nine more pounds I'm trying to lose. But I'm a lot healthier now than in the last three months than I've probably been in, in the last two years, to be honest with you. And it's all and it's all because I just start listening to my body, you know. Um, and yeah, I guess that's all I really want to say is... You know, take your health seriously. Don't be slow with your health. Like when you having health issues, don't don't hesitate to go to the doctor if you need to or go to a urgent care center if it's something serious. You know, I, I learned that the, the when you treat your health with a sense of urgency, you're more likely to live a more satisfying life. You know, unfortunately, I didn't get to really live my life to the fullest in the last, especially six years, especially because I was sick all the time. And a lot of it is because just really bad decisions, foolish decisions. But I really learned how to just be a little bit quicker and, you know, just have a more sense of urgency. You know, when I'm not feeling well, if I'm feeling tired, just go to bed. If I'm, um, you know, feeling sick, if I got a headache, allergies, asthma, whatever, just stop what you're doing and take care of it right away and i guarantee you the quicker you are with your health the better you'll be so i guess that's all i want to say I'll talk to you next time